So now you've mapped out what your V10 will look like and also what's reasonable and realistic for V1. We're gonna pull out the most important elements of V1. I've predefined a few of them for you. To me, the ones that matter are how you go out and get customers. You've already started on that, so let's write a process for it. How you onboard your customers. This process is always overlooked, but sets the tone for how your customer will experience your service. What happens when someone pays you money? Do they receive a welcome email? Are they told exactly what to do next? Walk the process and map out the exact steps. They matter. How about the first 30, 60, and 90 days? What are the milestones you want your customers to accomplish? Do you have steps in place for this? If you don't, let's work on them together. How about account expansion into a different plan tier or an annual contract? What does that process look like? All of these processes can be broken down into very simple steps. Now, in the early days, revenue is key. The more revenue you can capture, the faster you can reinvest in growth. The other thing to be aware of is the things that don't actually matter. For example, you don't need to figure out how to support version 10 of your product if you're only at version one. So use process sparingly and anchor your processes into what will make your customers successful. That's what really counts.